It's Friday morning, the 6th of March. This is just a quick video of an anomaly down in Halston, Cornwall. Um, there is quite considerable precipitation building up. I'm going to show you, in my opinion, what the equipment is that's doing this. But here's one of the weird anomalies. Around the Earth, we're getting photos of leading edge clouds with lines on. There's a pyramid shape here, and it also cuts back in this direction. <coughs> Let's just wind this forward a section so I can get the movement on it. Let's reduce this slightly. Right, so we're going to wind this and play with this for a second. We'll wind it back and get the time. That was 6.30 this morning. Clear in front, massive globe precipitation where the anomalies are taking place. But look at this, a direct line straight down to Alston, a direct anomaly straight down to Alston, direct lines across to Alston, and this is a line there, a line there, a line down there. I can't pick up what's further down, but I'll be fairly sure if I look on the European one, this will be in the middle of it. Amazing what's there. So we're gonna we'll play this forward now. Um, let's play the last six hours. Here we go. So you can see the centre of it here, here's Alston, precipitation builds up here, and as the lines hit it, the rain kicks in and then it disappears. Amazing, eh? So that is definitely the culprit. See the lines there kicking in, all the way around and through the precipitation. Now, take a look at this. This is the Agunel parabolic transmitter. Supposedly for outer space, but quite often it's seen <laughs> pointing flat along the Earth at the clouds in the distance and the horizon. Um, capable of giving bursts, I believe is capacitive, which means you can build up energy and do a burst as well, not just a constant feed for the radar system. And that's the one, but interestingly, it's recently been taken over by a private company who also has the right to purchase the whole premises. And in view of climate chaos and the changes in the weather, I find this rather interesting. Now, as it says here, <coughs> excuse me, on January the 11th, uh, sorry, on, on the 11th of January 2011, it was announced that part of the site is to be sold to create a space science centre. This will involve upgrading some of the dishes to make them suitable for deep space communication with spacecraft missions. A new company has been formed to manage the operations, Gunnelly Earth Station Limited. The company will lease most of the antennas for at least three years. So 11, 12, 13, 14, but um, I will read on. Uh, with the option to buy the entire complex in the future, Gunnelly Earth Station Limited took ownership of the site in January 2014. So it is in private hands. There are plans to connect one more of the Gunnelly dishes into global radio astronomy interferometer networks. There are also plans to upgrade the former visitor centre into an outreach centre promoting space and space science for visitors. So, yes, it probably is for space as well. Um, but remember this patent. And it's US patent number 161999, uh, sheet 7 of 7. And it shows Earth based transmitters interacting with satellite based transmitters, which are capable of using the solar energy in the atmosphere for the purpose of weather modification. And satellite dishes are exactly that. And it's looking at a rotation of the Earth. Okay. And it always points on the angle. Have you noticed the chemtrail at the start and end of the day? It's because of using the solar energy as it's at its concentrated form, not directly from above, but through the thickness of the atmosphere, which also creates um, electromagnetic uh, frequencies and also positive ionization of the atmosphere which is related to precipitation and that's fig 3 of the patent
and here is the patent that is the website for where the patent is and all the details are here and they interact with earth the sun the solar energy and satellites here's the equipment there's the picture we showed previously here's some more of the equipment and the techniques and there's the setup get performances for weather conditions the grouping the energy beams statistics of weather mathematical models etc all laid out in broad daylight more techniques on how it works there's your satellites there's your earthbound interactions <laughs>